What is going on, YouTube? I am Lamont at large with my $10 microphone and my 50 cent hat. Uh, it's kind of a running joke on this channel why I wear these dilapidated hats. Anyways, today, once again, I'm at the George Washington Memorial Park here in Paramus, New Jersey, and I'm here to visit the graves of Marvin and O'Kelly Isley. Some of you guys might recognize this name, uh, Lamont Big L Coleman. Uh, he was a very well-known hip-hop rapper. He was based out of New York. He was shot and killed. If you want to see that video in the near future, it will be on my other channel, Fascinating Graveyard, if you want to go check that out. So let's talk a little bit about the history of the Isley Brothers. Now, originally, they started singing sometime in the mid-50s. Uh, they did gospel at first. Uh, the three original band members were Ronald, Rudolph, and O'Kelly. Uh, later on, they included their little brother, Vernon, who tragically was ran over and killed when he was riding his bicycle over in Ohio. Now, after he died, uh, they took a break away from music for a while, and then they came back. Uh, their first big song that does not get played enough, in my opinion, on the radio is the song Shout. And I'm not going to sing the words of the song because I'm not going <laughs> to do that to you guys. But uh, that's not a gospel song. It's a, I guess it would be an, a rock and roll song to me. Or it could be an R&B song to you. Uh, if it was a gospel song, in my opinion, it would be one of the greatest gospel songs of all time. So that song came out I think in like the late 50s. I want to say 1959. Uh, they were on American Bandstand, I believe. Uh, performing that song and that's what got them uh, really really popular and these guys have been making music for I want to say almost 50 years I haven't heard much from Ronald Isley in the last uh, say 20 some odd years but uh, man got some good music a lot of us <laughs> a lot of us watching Probably don't even know, uh, you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for some of the music by the Isley Brothers. So uh, later on, they included their other brothers, uh, Ernie and Marvin. So you had five Isley Brothers. So they were a complete band, you know, guitar, bass, uh, drums, and all of that. I mean, some of their songs include uh, Fight the Power, uh, Shout, of course, just like I mentioned, uh, It's Your Thing. Uh, who's that lady, beautiful lady? Who's that lady? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not going to do that to you. Uh, here we go again. Uh, for the love of you. And uh, I think that song that a lot of us were born to is uh, Between the Sheets. And their music has been sampled by quite a number of hip-hop artists, hip-hop rappers, or what have you. And uh, just a... Uh, Ultimately, a fantastic career. For a while, they were sound, they were signed, excuse me, to Motown, the Motown label, and they, you know, they had some some success, but nothing uh, really major. I guess it was best that they left the uh, the label, which they did in the late '60s. And uh, I would say, you know, personally, um, they were. Uh, I would say a lot, a lot of their music that is not commercially played was kind of like the funk sound, uh, if you will. But uh, later on, when they started doing like more like R&B, softer type music and stuff like that, uh, that's what really, really made them popular. And I'm pretty sure their songs get played hundreds and thousands of times a day across uh, different radio stations all over the nation. And uh, Ronald Isley, I'm pretty sure he's retired now because I haven't really heard much from him. But it's so funny when you watch uh, Ron Isley, you know, Mr. Biggs to some of you guys. <laughs> uh, he looks exactly the same as he did in 1955 that he looks that he looked like in 2000. Even his hairline is the same. I mean, th this man practically hasn't <laughs> barely aged. Um, this is uh, where O'Kelly Isley is uh, interred here uh, next to his mother. I don't know where their father 
uh, O'Kelly Sr. is buried. I'm guessing Ohio because that's where they're from. They're from uh, Cincinnati. So that's his mother right there. And then that's O'Kelly right there. Uh, he had died of a heart attack. I think he was 48 or 49 years old. So that's one of the brothers. And uh, we're going to go visit uh, the other brother, Marvin. So their brother, Rudolph. Now, I don't understand this. Maybe y'all can help me out here. But uh, as much success as they had, Rudolph, he left the band, I want to say 1988 or 1989. He retired from the music industry and became a pastor. I guess he uh, heard uh, God calling and wanted him to, uh, to just be a, a pastor or, or a reverend or what have you. Um, I mean, the Isley brothers, many, many musicians uh, owe their gratitude to the, uh, the Isley brothers' music. They've made a lot of money made a lot of people happy and uh they were inducted into the rock and roll hall of fame in uh, 1992 and uh i don't know i, I my personal opinion I, I i i'd like to hear your comments below what your uh, favorite isley brothers song is you know i'm gonna always say between the sheets because that's the song i remember uh vividly as a uh, teenager being played uh, on the radio stations uh, me growing up in the mean streets of Los Angeles but I would say I'd like to say that Shout is an absolutely great song and it would be a close second in my personal opinion uh, when it comes to uh, the Isley Brothers music and I love some of their funk music as well even though it was not commercially you know getting played all over the radio I mean you had some uh, fantastic musicians uh, in the uh, Isley Brothers family and uh, Marvin Isley uh, pretty tragic end to his uh, career I want to I'm gonna guess uh, 1992 don't quote me on that uh, he had always uh, struggled with diabetes uh, throughout a lot most of his adult life and he had to have both of his legs amputated below the knee so after that happened uh, he basically retired from music and then if you're you know maybe I want to say if you're 30 years old or under many of you only really know uh, Ron, Ronnie Isley, uh, you know, because he basically was uh, the forefront of the Isley Brothers uh, from then on, from the 90s into the uh, early 2000s. He uh, had a couple uh, big songs uh, singing with other people. Now, he sang uh, Contagious, uh, the good song uh, with R. Kelly. And of course, we all know where R. Kelly is, right where he belongs. Right in prison, he ain't never getting out. And I never did understand why people still play R. Kelly's music after what he did. All the creepiness uh, that entailed, you know, almost encrusted like some kind of a filthy amoeba, uh, R. Kelly's career. But there's still a lot of people... I see, I see playing his music in their cars. Not really, uh, not really sure why. But uh, we're going to start walking really fast. We're going to go past this uh, tower right here and uh, visit uh, Marvin Isley. And on the other side of that tower, right next to the golf course over there, I'm walking up to the final resting place of Marvin Isley the bassist, the percussionist of the Isley Brothers. And he is right up there. If you can see it, I'll get a little bit closer. And that is his final resting place. And right below him, 
Of course, the late, great Luther Vandross. I don't know if Marvin wanted to be right here next to Luther. I don't know if they were friends, but two uh, great musicians right next to each other. All right, guys, I am out of here. I just want to remind you guys, this is not a channel that gets really in depth with some of my videos. I'm sure I left out quite a bit of songs, very famous songs that you love. That's why I asked you in the comments below, uh, let me know a good song that I missed. I'll listen to it. Anyways, guys, I got to hit the road. I will catch up with y'all on the next vlog. Be good, y'all. Peace out.